Times are tough for refiners. The climate change is leading to a wish to decarbonize. This creates uncertainties about the future. My name is Erik Hansvoll. I'm a trained chemical engineer and worked 26 years for Shell. The objective of this course is to get a solid, broad awareness of the refinery business. There are no two refineries the like. They all differ. They differ on complexity and the number and type of process units available. We have very low complexity refineries, also called hydro skimming refineries, low complexity, semi complexity, high complexity. And typically, a refiner wants to convert the heavier parts of the crude barrel into the lighter parts, and this is called whitening of the barrel. In the refinery course, we will explain in quite a depth the main process units. It starts with atmospheric distillation, vacuum distillation, and ends with sulfur removal. We will discuss what do these units do, how does it work, what is the chemistry involved, where applicable, of course, where does the feed come from, and where do the hydrocarbon products go to, which is called the hydrocarbon yield and this position. We will also discuss a typical refinery block diagram where you see these process units placed in the organization. After the technical part of the refinery, we will go in depth in the refinery economics. And that starts with a refinery profit and loss statement. This PL statement starts with the proceeds of the refinery and the costs, feedstock, with many other costs as well typically OPEX costs. So it, it starts with the hydrocarbon margin and the gross refinery margin, a very important indicator for a refinery, and it ends with the net income after tax, also called earnings. To make more margin, a refinery is often integrated with petrochemicals. And the petrochemicals units can be either integrated with the refinery, within the refinery, as seen on this slide, or at a different location, so physically separated from each other. But they will be connected then with pipelines or transport from one to the other via barges, uh, rail trains, or even trucks. 